Joseph was a young boy who was sold into slavery by his own family at age 17. He was rejected and hated by the people he loved. And it's believed that Joseph was a slave for about 10 years and then was falsely accused by his master's wife. This accusation led him to be wrongly imprisoned for about two years or more, and Joseph wasn't let out until age 30, where he became one of the leading rulers of Egypt. All this to say that for 13 years, Joseph was either working as a slave in a culture that was completely foreign to him and away from his home, or sitting in prison wasting time alone asking the question, God, where are you in all of this? However, because of Joseph's life, Egypt and Joseph's family was saved from the famine we read at the end of Genesis. Notice Joseph's words in Genesis 50 verse 20 when he's talking to his brothers who betrayed him. But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive. Lastly, I want to close with this. While we all want to be happy here on earth, we want to be loved, to have a family, to have enough money. If you're a Christian, please remember that this place is not your home. Heaven is your home. And Jesus didn't die on the cross so that you can have a happy and comfortable life here on earth. Jesus died so that you can have eternal life in heaven and to one day live without the fear of death and sorrow. This life can be cruel, but it is short, one to endure and one to appreciate while we live it to help and to relate to others while we can, and to be reminded that while bad things happen, there's still a God who loves us because while it hurts now, he has a bigger future for you in mind. Romans 8:18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. To the one who is currently going through a hard time, Jesus knows exactly where you are, and he loves you. Keep going and endure. God bless.